out of um, elected officials. Councilman Brian Cook is here. Uh, Councilman Richard Johnson is here. Uh, former Councilman uh, Don Pearson is here. Uh, Councilman uh, Dr. Mark Rennie is here. Uh, Councilman Scott Royball is here. Councilman Dick Sh Dickie Shaner is here. Councilman Jeff White is here. Former Councilman uh, Rich Wiederspond is here. And um, uh, former Councilman Joe Doherty is here. Mr. And I Laborn see Pete Laborn is here. Welcome all of you and, and thank you for attending. Also, I'd like to acknowledge three people that uh, are terrific city employees and we couldn't have uh, pulled this event off without them. And that's Park Superintendent Jason Sanchez. Jason, thank you for all that you've done. Uh, city Forester Lisa Snyder, she picked out a, a beautiful tree for this uh, special occasion. And the person that buys uh, super glue by the gallon, and when I introduce her to you, you'll understand why. That's Chris Jones, Executive <laughs> Assistant to the City Council. And I'd also like to welcome friends of Jimmy Valdez. But we are especially happy that Amelia Valdez and her children could join us today to plant this tree in memory of Jimmy. And I should, should say there's, I suspect there's several grandchildren and I understand there may be three great grandchildren. I don't know if they're all here, but uh, we're uh, glad to have you all here. Recently, I came across an old Wyoming Tribune article dated October 6, 2002 entitled, Officials Looking at a New Park. The first sentence read, Jimmy Valdez, Floyd Lopez, and Tom Shear say a community park will be built in South Cheyenne. 15 years ago, this park was not much more than a dream Jimmy had for his ward. In 2002, this 100 acres was nothing more than a dumping ground for old tires, mattresses, and garbage, with an old warehouse on it that was ready to fall down. Jimmy could see beyond the garbage and understood that with commitment and service, things would change. Jimmy had a great respect for Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who once said, everyone can be great because everyone can serve. Jimmy understood the importance of serving and giving back to his community. With no money, just a dream, Jimmy rolled up his sleeves and went to work. And today we are enjoying the fruit of his labor. Jimmy would often talk about leaving his community better than he found it. He would say, my grandchildren will be able to see what I accomplished. There's a wonderful old Chinese proverb that says one generation plants the tree and, and a, the next generation enjoys the shade. Jimmy was instrumental in naming this park and sponsored legislation to name it after Cheyenne's first Parks and Recs director, David R. Romero. He also understood that it takes a team to accomplish your goals. Henry Ford once said, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Jimmy understood success would only come by working together with others. Jimmy and his family have been such a blessing to our community and Jimmy has literally changed the landscape in Cheyenne to benefit generations to come. God bless you and happy Easter. And now I'm honored to introduce one of Jimmy's daughters, Dr. Michelle Valdez. Thank you, Jack. That was beautiful. And um, thank you for being such a great friend to my father. We really mean that. Um, thank you all for being here today to remember our dad, Jimmy Valdez. Uh, my name is Michelle Valdez and I am Jimmy's oldest daughter. And I speak today on behalf of my mother, Amelia. 
my two sisters, Yvette and Misty, and my two brothers, Jimmy and Anthony, and my father's great-grandchildren and his grandchildren. Thank you to, to the city for making this day possible. Planting a tree is special to all of us because it is a living tribute to my dad. Like a tree that has great character, this tree reminds us of who he was and how he lived out his life. Even though each of us have different memories of Jimmy, ours is a shared memory in that we can agree we knew a man of great, magnificent character. He lived out his life with great energy and passion. He walked with confidence, grace, and honor. And how lucky were we all to walk beside him. So let us remember my dad by remembering his character and how he lived out his life. About drive and perseverance, he showed us that having a strong worth ethic, we could accomplish great things. He made his mark in this world that we can still feel today. He had that never giving up attitude. About integrity, he showed integrity by caring, helping, and serving others. He would want us to strive for personal and practical integrity in every endeavor. About passion, his energy inspired us all. He was passionate for people. He had a passion for life. He had a great, great passion for music. And he would want us to dance to the music of life. I know he would remind us to live life to the fullest and to love and cherish each moment that we walk this earth. And about commitment, my dad, Jimmy Valdez, was committed to his commitments. He was committed to the businesses he created. He was committed to the causes that were important to him. He was committed to Cheyenne. And when he served on the council, he woke up every day with his sleeves rolled up, ready to work. He loved, loved this city and was very proud of it. About devotion, he was a loyal and committed family member. Each day let us know, each day he let us know that he was there for us. Even now we can feel him guiding us. He was so proud of his five children, his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren. He made sure that we all felt important every day. My family felt great love in his presence. He showed us how to love and we witnessed that and how he cared and was passionate about our mother, Amelia. His number one priority was to make her happy. And he was happy making my mother happy. He was loyal to his friends and he would do anything to help anyone in need. And I mean anyone. That was a true testament of his love for people. He reminds us to be devoted to the people we love and care about. We can all smile today that Jimmy lived. We can open our eyes and see what he's left us. We can see that in his, in his accomplishments. And we can open our minds and remember all of his teachings. And if we open our hearts, we can feel and hear his beautiful music telling us to keep passionate about life. Finally, it is fitting that we plant a tree in his honor today. A simple act, but it serves as a reminder that Jimmy is still working to make Cheyenne a better place. Thank you.
break a bone. Yeah, I'm trying to, but I always want to do something. I got two pair. My daughter and her son coming out to cut my grass. Thank <laughs> you.